Yes. Hello there, this is me. And <laughs> yeah, I've begun a new let's play for you all to enjoy or not. Because I felt like it and I've I've actually been planning to play this game for a while now and a fair word of warning, I have played a little bit of this game before, however, only the beginning, but I have also watched other people let's play it, so it will not be, ble it will not be completely blind, um, but mostly, so I will probably freak out quite a bit while I'm playing this game. Uh, and this is a series of three games made by fictional games and you may know them as the people who created Amnesia. Amnesia? Amnesia? Uh, whatever, however you want to pronounce that. Uh, and the series was made a few years before that game was released. So yeah, if you enjoy that game might just as well enjoy, enjoy this. Yeah. Let's start a new game. <laughs> For players who are bad at action games. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with normal, you know. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. But he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago and so the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realised my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. So, we're going to Greenland. Uh, well, that's breaking the fourth wall, if anything. Oh man, it feels weird playing this game. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Using my left mouse on it. <laughs> well, oh, gonna. Oh crap, it got stuck. Oh, it's like fangs. It's a fish mouth or. 
or shark, I guess, but it could, it could yeah, I don't even know, it's something. It is something. There, there is there, Eric. Use the quick note before you set sail and leave me once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chaise at the foot of your bed. And I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come ho how home from me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might not nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I wash those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time. But I still feel better knowing they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout. But I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen up in any, don't say anything. Stove them well in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. Uh, ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. Okay. What's this brandy? Whiskey? Uh. I don't even know. I don't know my alcohols. Can I? Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm still crouching. Look at this. I'm just gonna place it like this and... Oh yeah, I need... Uh, oh my god, look at these pictures. Playboy po poster is nice. Some things don't change no matter how, how far you are from home. Uh, a photo of the fisherman's wife. She's no Playboy <laughs> bunny, but she looks loving and kind. <laughs> My god, what's that picture? Pretty odorous. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. They must eat and sleep and well do everything else in this one room for weeks at a time. TMI, TMI. Also, that picture, is it just me or does it look like a picture of a, a snake or a lizard? Look at this pillow. I'm gonna place it here and I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, let's take a look. Oh. Open. Oh, what is my face? That's it. That is. Oh my God! It's a woman thing. What? Help! Help! Okay, I'm just gonna grab this. Could come in handy if the torch uh, runs off the. Uh, run aside through batteries, so I should be able to access it through my inventory of it. Okay. 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 Let's put it there. Why not? Oh! Do 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 do! Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, Yes, pick it up. Tab. Uh. Oh, look at these fish. Let's go. As I stepped off the boat, sitting out into the blizzard that formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I had been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were just justified. 
I don't know whether I lost my orientation, my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. I knew hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. So cold, don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind a little bit. If I click and hold the interact button left mouse, I should just about manage to pick up that rock. The colds made me weak, but I can still try. this. It's my weapon. If I use... Uh. <laughs> okay, this... Oh. Actually, let's crouch. Can I... I didn't even have to use the or key. Oh, I'm so weak. Oh, wait, am I doing it wrong? Or Dude, Philip, open it. God, God. <sighs> Philip. My ear is itchy. This is my head, I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? Could be anything inside it. Uh, can I save? Or maybe... Yeah, maybe that's at certain points. Totally forgot. Scared. Okay, I got the stealer. Oh. <gasps> that thing fell. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm totally. Okay, he's like getting insane. He's like freaking David. Daniel, I mean. Those names are very similar, you know, they start with D and A. It's a common mistake. Can't I st stand up? Yeah. Why am I so scared? Oh, these games are so ats atmospheric. Oh god, it's the... Please, please shut the fuck up. Guy, please have a cup of shut the fuck up, I think. Uh, let's see, I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a back swing by pulling the mouse right. And then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling back and then through. Let's put it there, maybe. I'm gonna... Okay. 
I'm just trying it out because why not? Um. Can I? Can I unequip? Oh. Oh. Okay. Just press the same button again. <laughs> that makes sense. Should I? Go this way, or should I go the other way? The thing is, I like to explore, and thus I don't like taking the way that's supposed to be taken first. Okay, it's stuck, there must be something in the way. And then, probably, I need to go this way. This looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate. It's a thing. Okay, this is the place I came from. Don't like these holes. Wait, it's just okay. It just I, it just takes me back. I know it's gonna shake. Yeah, I played this. This hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Some, but someone obviously wants to keep people out or in. Toon, toon, toon! So it barrels? Okay. Well, I have a metal rod. Wait. I don't know where this leads or what's waiting for me, but unless I want to start to death, it's my only option. Besides, maybe this place has something to do with my father. Well, let's go have an, ad an adventure. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I had never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets. Emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, Lovers. All there. If something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school. Surrounded by a closing ring of older kids. Knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers. Or too scared. Or too far away. <laughs> Okay, should we look at the notes, maybe? Oh! Could be anyone, anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fair, fairy tales. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, I'd best... I'd be best off staying low. And out of sight until I know whether, whether or not it's a threat. Approaching by pressing left control. Yeah, yeah, be quiet and crouch and hide. I want to look at the notes, but this isn't the note. Forty. 
left of her. Hold on, let me look at controls. Oh, okay, it didn't tell me. Uh, whatever. I'm just wondering if I'm forgetting a button. Paraffin lamps? Hmm. I haven't heard of that. Uh, phrase or word, whatever. Try and go to the office first, I believe. Yeah. This part isn't too complete. This is still scary. Still a scary game. I remember once I got stuck uh, at this area of the game because I didn't find a note that was li lying on a crate or something. It was not nice. So much history in this place, tied up in words and left to decompose. Well, ain't that uplifting? Pull these out. Oh, I can't even see if there's anything in that one. What's this? Backstream. Let's look. Uh, 5th of August. Command bunker. Emergency airstrip Zulu. Weekly report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipments received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance to be carried out twice weekly from here on in. Due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by four thousand miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now, now looked up that manual in the chest in my office. I will keep the key on my person at all times. Hmm. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined. And the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here. But the matter is out of my hands. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Even though that other guy was stupid, but anyway. This place is so disconnected sometimes. I feel as if this war could end. We might not even hear, hear about it here. Supplies requisition order. Dynamite for excavation purposes. Seven bayonets. Not necessary in my opinion, but procedure states we should have a full complement. One industrial ice pick for removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch. One pair of reading glasses. Cat cat category 7C. An order for myself. My glasses are in rather a poor state of repair and could do with replacing. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. 
The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage and ex excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. <sighs> One point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find. An artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a clo closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have been may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of the light which constantly emanates from it. Chief and CO M major. Yeah, yeah. That was oh, this is the same thing. Or a man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He's strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before. Still, I know this man before me is Howard. 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 Damn it! I call him father. Ugh, what the hell is... What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. I think that's same my game? Let's look. Did that... Yeah, it did. How nice. Mm. Ugh, more reading. Copen Co Copenhagen Post, Monday 7th. August 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of Death Mine. This music is creepy. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind altering chemicals naturally sewn into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at the Greenland mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies, to isolated communities first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Elite Mind last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, that 46 deaths per 100,000 populace compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed many of the minor symptoms in common with the earlier stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has, this has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid as PH4 formula recently discovered to have hallucin hallucinogenic properties may be present in the rocks. Few locals were conduct conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as the Turngait live in the mountains. The university is having the results of chemical testing studies continue. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Get away, sir! Strong those shares. Look at this. It's a picture of a British platoon. We must date back to World War Two. Some punk. Ah! Stupid share. Oh, battery. Move! Oh, I can't write on this! I wish I could. Oh, what's this? Beef jerky! Oh, yeah, that will come in handy later, I believe. <laughs> You'll see. Um. Even more! Damn it! Close! Inspect everything! Oh, is this medicine? 
Oh, it's painkillers. Oh, sorry, my arm itched. Eh. Eh. King of the world. Let's save. Oh god, these whisperings are mm, they're scary. But anyway, I guess this is it for the first part. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and looking forward to the next. Bye.